kids, in today's video, we are going to start with the key points of the unit matter and changes. So let's have a look at what the key points are. In the beginning, we just learned about matter that all around us are substances that are made of matter. And the question rises, what is a matter? Matter has mass and occupies a space. So it, sa so it says that matter is anything that has mass and it should occupy some space. It exists in three states, namely solid, liquid and gas. So we can say all matter is composed of small particles, whether it is solid, liquid or gas. The arrangement of these particles determine the state of matter. However, matter can change its state when the temperature is changed. So according to the temperature, matter can change its state. In solid, particles are arranged in an orderly manner and close to one another. Particles vibrate at fixed positions. Solids have a fixed shape and volume. Particles are not arranged in an orderly manner in a liquid. They move randomly and slowly in liquids and do not have a fixed shape. However, in a gas, the spaces between particles are large. The particles are far apart and are randomly arranged. Solids melt into liquid state on heating. Liquids boil on heating and change into gaseous state. Liquids freeze on cooling. Gases condense on cooling. Freezing is the reverse of melting. When liquid water evaporates, it changes its state. Liquid water goes into the surrounding air as water vapors. Water can evaporate in any, at any temperature. Condensation is a process by which a gas or vapor changes to liquid state at a certain temperature when it is cooled. However, when a gas is cooled, the particle loses heat. So these were some of the more important points that are called the key points of the unit matter and states. Let's have a look at some MCQs. The first one says matter has no mass but occupies the space. Mass but occupies no space, mass and occupies a space, no mass and occupies no space. C is correct. So let's highlight. Matter has mass and occupies a space. A solid has Maximum space but the part between the particles, definite shape but no definite volume, maximum force of attraction between particles, definite volume but no definite shape. Maximum spaces between the particles. Conversion of gas to liquid is called condensation, evaporation, Freezing, boiling. Condensation.
The process by which wet clothes dry up is called evaporation. Matter changes from one state to another with the change in temperature. Water is always present in the air as fog, frost, vapors, cloud vapors. Which of the following is opposite to boiling? Evaporation, freezing, condensation, melting. Freezing. Next is the question related to blanks that should be filled with suitable words. So this is for you kids to recap the unit that we did in the previous video. We will do it on your own and we will check the answers in the next coming video. I hope you understood and enjoyed this part. We'll have some more. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.